Welcome back to No Code Devs. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to build a custom AI assistant. This is gonna be built using BuildShip. It's a no code tutorial. And by the end of this, you'll be able to embed your AI assistant on your front end website, whether that be Webflow, Wix Studio, Framer, or really any front end website builder. This is super cool. It can be trained on your own data and intelligently answer questions that your customer has based on the data set that you upload. It could help your customers with e-commerce questions, knowledge-based docs, support, and so much more. The use cases are practically endless. This is a completely no-code workflow, so you can follow along and have this AI assistant built and trained on your data in just a matter of minutes. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment with any questions, and be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any other videos like this one. All right, let's go ahead and dive into how to build this AI bot. We're gonna be able to do this in just a few minutes using the powerful BuildShift backend. And then this new tool that they just released, which is the AI Bot Builder. Essentially what it allows you to do is build a powerful bot using the BuildShip platform and then embed that AI bot in your front end website. So this could be Wix Studio like we're gonna to show today. It could be Framer, it could be Webflow or really any front end website builder that allows you to inject code into the front end pages. What's super cool about this is you can build all kinds of different workflows and you can even train it on your own data. Let's say you have Google Sheets data or Airtable data or some other backend, you can train BuildShip on this data and then the bot can answer questions based on your data. So let's just say you have an e-commerce store and a user comes to your site and they want to ask a question about which product they should buy or they wanna compare different products together, the AI bot can handle all of that. So it's super, super cool. We're gonna build this completely from scratch today. There's no experience required. By the end of this, you'll be able to build your own AI bot and then embed it on your website for users to use. So let's head on over to BuildShip and we've signed in here and we're looking at their different templates. They have all kinds of different templates from AI to assistance, to internal tools, to bots and so on and so forth. I highly recommend that you take a look at their different templates because they have a lot to choose from and it gives you a really great starting point whenever you're building a backend tool with BuildShip. So let's head over to AI and we're gonna select this option here, which is chat with Google Sheets. When we click into this, we get the entire workflow built out for us here. And there's even some notes over here with instructions on how to get this set up, but we're gonna walk you through it step-by-step step here so that you know exactly what to do. And by the end of this, you have a working product. So this is just a REST API call and the path here is pre-set up as talk to sheets and it's a post request. You could actually rename this to whatever you want, but we're just gonna go ahead and keep it as talk to sheets. And just to walk through what's happening here is it's going to make the request using OpenAI. You have to have an OpenAI assistant and an API key, which I'll show you how to get. And then what's happening here is it's looking at the data from Google Sheets, which in our case is gonna be a bunch of different no-code tools with descriptions and website links. And then it's returning the end result based on the user's prompt. So this is super, super cool. So let me show you what we need to do to get this all set up. It's really just a few steps. The first thing that you need to do here, we'll start at the bottom, is authenticate with Google Sheets. The way that you authenticate is you click this little fingerprint icon, and I've already signed in, but if you haven't signed in, it's just a one-click connection. So I'm gonna choose art at nocodedevs.com. And then what you need to do is you need to pass in the sheet URL and the sheet name. This is the sheet that I've already created here. Basically, it's a ton of different no-code tools with a short summary of each tool and the URL of that tool. So what I can do is I can just hit share. I'm gonna make sure this is available to anyone with the link. I can copy the link. I can come back over to BuildShip and I can actually pass in this URL here. As far as the sheet name, we have sheet one. If we look at the bottom here of our page, it says sheet one, so we can just leave that as is. There's nothing else that we need to do here. Now, for OpenAI, we need to do a couple different things. We need to actually create an assistant on OpenAI, and I've done this already, but it's super easy. If you log into OpenAI and you go to assistance, you can in about two minutes create an assistant. I created something super simple here, without a lot of information by giving a simple instruction that your helpful assistant whose job it is to recommend the best no code tools based on the user's goals. And I gave it an example. Didn't take much time building this assistant. So just keep that in mind. But all I'm gonna need here is this assistant ID. I can head back over to BuildShip 
and I can paste that assistant ID in here. Also, we're gonna need our OpenAI key. So I'll head back over to OpenAI and I will grab my API key here that I built for BuildChip. Actually, I'm gonna create a new key. I'll call it BuildChip2. I'm gonna create my secret key, copy it, and then I'll just paste it in here. Okay, awesome. So we have everything that we need here. I'm getting an error here that says, post slash talk to sheets is already in use with another workflow. That's because I already built this once just to test it. So we can just put a two here and now we should be good to go. The final thing that we need to do here is edit these instructions. So if we click into this little pencil, we'll see that there's some default instructions here, which were just set up for the example. These aren't gonna work for us because we're not a home specialist. We're gonna be recommending no code tools. So let's go ahead and delete this. And what I can actually do is I can head over to the instructions that I created in my example. And basically I just put something really simple. I didn't take a lot of time perfecting this prompt, but you're a no-code specialist who recommends the best tools to complete a project. You have detailed knowledge of various no-code and AI tools and so on and so forth. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. I'll come back here and I'm just gonna paste the instructions in here. Keep in mind that whenever you're building this, you're gonna have to write your own instructions right here, as well as set up an assistant that has some basic instructions. I would look up on how to create good instructions for your assistant and also a good prompt here in the instructions. The better the prompt engineering, the better the end result that you're going to get. But again, we're just showing you how this all works. So we're not going to spend a lot of time on that today, but I just wanted to note it. Okay. So that is essentially everything that we need to do here. Next up, what we're going to do is we're just going to hit this blue ship button and see if we can get this to ship and work. So let's go ahead and hit ship. It's gonna take just a moment here, but it should basically package this up and then it should give us a few different options. So it gives us a endpoint URL. So we could go over to Postman and we could actually test this if we wanted. You can export the API if you want as JSON. But this third option here, which is what's new with BuildChip is you can actually create a chat widget here based on this workflow. So super, super cool. Let me go ahead and click chat widget. And we get this new sort of screen here. We get the endpoint URL. We get the widget title. We get a greedy message if we want to set that up. The button name and some advanced options like the, the thread ID, close on outside click, et cetera, et cetera. We're not gonna change any of these, but I just wanna show you that they're there. And then we get this simple code snippet that we can embed in our site and make this all work. So let's go ahead and change this widget title. We'll just say no code tools. And I'll say, I am here to help you pick the best tool for the job. Okay. And the button name is, let's just say chat with me. One thing I want to mention is this will just create a basic sort of chatbot button. You can in your front end, whether it be in code or in the builder, you can customize your button however you want it to be and style it however you would like it to be. In their docs, they even have some button styling that you can just copy and paste, but I'm going to keep this super basic for now. One other thing here, which I really like, is you can actually interact and test your chatbot prior to embedding it on your site and making it live. So let's go ahead and do that. Chat with me, and we get this immediate message here. I am here to help you pick the best tool for the job. Super cool. I'll say, what tool would you recommend for an e-commerce site? question mark, and we're gonna let this run. Hopefully we'll get back an answer here. Again, this is trained on our data, which is this list of NCD tools that this is getting from the sheet here in the sheets node. Let's come back here. This is still thinking. Usually just takes a second here. As you can see, our widget title, no code tools, you can change all of this stuff and make it custom for your site. Okay, let's just give it another second. I notice it takes a little bit longer on the first run from time to time. So let's see what happens here. Okay, it worked. So we get this nice result. To build an e-commerce website without coding, there are a few powerful tools that you can consider. Shopify, Wix e-commerce, BigCommerce, Square Online, and so on and so forth. So super cool. It's using our data to generate this response. This is great, but we're here just in this sort of playground build chip environment. What we wanna do is actually make this live on our own website. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this script 
And I'm gonna head on over to Wix Studio. Again, this could be any front end site builder, but I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new site. And I'm gonna create a blank studio canvas just to show you in the most basic form how you would get this set up. Again, you can embed this anywhere on your front end site and have it work. This is just gonna take a minute to spin up here. Okay, and we have a blank site as we would expect. We go up here to the plus button to add an element and I'm just gonna choose iframe here to embed my code. I'm gonna hit enter code and I will just paste in this code here that BuildShip provided. I'm gonna go ahead and hit update. And look at this, we got a chat with me button. Again, you can style this button however you would like. I'm gonna go ahead and expand it here to full screen. Maybe I'll make this a little bit bigger and let's preview this. If I hit the chat with me button here, this should bring up the chat box that we just built. And it does, no code tools powered by BuildShip. I'm here to help you pick the best tool for your job. Again, we could put in our question. We can ask very specific questions. We can even iterate on the response that we get, ask it for more details, so on and so forth, like you would expect from any AI tool, except this is on our website, branded as we would like, and it's trained on our data. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or you wanna check out BuildShip, please drop them in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any other videos like this one in the future. Thanks so much, and thank you for being a part of the No Code Devs community.